Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and today I've got a little bit of a story time for you, so stay tuned. Now in my previous video uh, that we were talking about a lot update, I'm going to put a link right up here. We mentioned about the Toyota Matrix that I brought in for a buddy of mine, Steve, who has bought several vehicles from me. I want to show you the car that he's buying as well as the car that he's trading in and well we'll talk a little bit about it. So you guys all know from the previous video that this is the car that he wanted me to find. He wanted to upgrade from his old Toyota Matrix to something new. He loved it. It was so utilitarian that this is what I found and I love the color. I'm not sure the color really came out on the previous video but it's spruce mica not very many of these around in this color the car that he's trading in however is this 2004 matrix and well it's got well over 500,000 kilometers and if you guys don't know about some of these older toyotas when they reached 300,000 kilometers or 299999 to be more precise the odometer would stop working. So the odometer is showing 299,999 kilometers, uh, but because he knows how many kilometers he drives in the run of a year, he has estimated it in upwards of 540,000 possibly. So uh, this car has seen better days. It is quite rusty. It does show some signs of wear. Let's get a closer look and show you a possible candidate for Tannerite. Let's see. He's kept the aluminum wheels because we're thinking the aluminum wheels will still work on the new Matrix and give him some winter uh, wheels to work with. But the rockers are gone. Uh, we're showing a little bit of signs of uh, cancer here on the lift gate. Uh, the rear wiper is gone. We've got some more rust bubbles down there. But I'll tell you what, the, the uh, air conditioning still works on this car. We're not going to go too far inside. I mean, it's not that bad, uh, but you look at the outside, it's just showing some signs of wear. The paint, the clear coat is fading off of this rear fender, uh, so the paint is actually pink. I would say that that's been taped off and painted at one point in time. Um, the inner fender is gone on the inside. I mean, this thing has just got some battle scars. A little crease in the door down here. And uh, the reason why he decided it was time to upgrade is because the inspection runs out the end of this month, and he knew that because of the rot underneath, it was not going to pass. Now we're into the 2012. So this 2012 only has 93,000 kilometers and it's a five speed and he's beeping the horn at me. So that must mean they want to go. Because they're waiting inside and they didn't want to be on video. But anyways, I wanted to share this story with you because Steve and Melody are great friends and they come, they drive two hours uh, one way to come buy a vehicle from me. This is the third one. Uh, their son has bought one and uh, his girlfriend has bought one as well. And we've uh, shared that on the videos in the past. So I just wanted to give you this little bit of a story time and show you the differences between the old and the new on these Toyota Matrix and just how reliable they are to the point where when you have one and it wears out, you just want another one. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. Stay tuned and we're gonna close out this little story time. So before we do close out this video, I want to know from you guys, what do you think we should do with the old Matrix? Now, the inspection runs out on it at the end of July. The fact that we are officially halfway through this year, 2020, thank you for getting that far, because I don't know what much more 2020 has to offer. Um, but we're halfway there, we're over that hump. Is this something that you guys would like to see bombing around on the channel it's gonna to have to be off-road because we won't be able to put it uh, on the streets with that bad inspection sticker is this something that you'd like to see blown up with Tannerite along with the PT Cruiser once we reach 5,000 subscribers I'm only into it for a few hundred dollars so it's not like at the end of the day we're gonna be out very much money we can have some fun with this thing if you guys want to but if you want to move on to something different like an EFI system on Old Dale or cruise control or uh, bring grandma back onto the videos with a rear end swap or any of that stuff, go ahead and leave your comments down in the description box below. 
because uh, we're looking for new content. A few weeks back, I put up a video right here, and you can go back and watch that, of me asking for your help on some of the things that, you know, you want to see on my channel. So if I don't have your input, well, I can't cater to some of the things that you guys want uh, to see on this channel. So uh, we do have the somewhat race course uh, going down around the back and in through. It's pretty rough. Uh, it's good for beating on cars. We did that with Project Bubbles. Um, so this is something that if I bought this from the dealership for the couple hundred bucks that I got tied up into it, um, then we can kind of beat on it. Uh, we can have some fun. We can go and we can put, you know, cheap hundred dollar eBay turbos on it and whip it around. We can put some nitrous on it. We can do just about anything uh, that you guys want to see done. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with putting a few, uh, few dollars uh, towards this uh, in hopes that it may bring some uh, some new viewers to the channel. So I'm just throwing that out there. If you guys want to see something, please let me know. Also, having said all of that, I put a challenge out on my TikTok and Instagram there a few weeks ago to help get me to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. You guys all know that if we get to 5K by December 31st, then I will release the video of me blowing up the PT Cruiser with Tannerite. Maybe the Matrix is something that will be a part of that video too. If I get to 10K, if my channel really takes off and you guys are just you know, on spot with sharing my videos and telling all your friends and putting it out in there to the automotive community, if I get to 10K, then I am going to shave my beard with the BS Challenge, the Beard Shave Challenge. It's a tall order. You guys can do it. I'm not going to push it into it because I really don't want to get rid of my beard, but my beard will grow back should I have to shave it off, and I'm willing to do that for you guys. So uh, this is something I've had for a long time now, five years or so. So if you guys uh, want to see the beard gone, back to Jason Carr, Babyface, then uh, let's get my channel to 10K because with this BS challenge, if we can get to 10K by December 31st at midnight, that beard comes off and we'll release that video. Also, don't forget this Thursday, just a couple of days away, the Car Guy and Six Fan Show will premiere its season four uh, for this year and we've got some good guests coming our way. If you follow us on Instagram, uh, which is Old Car Guy and Straight Six Fan, then you guys can keep up to date with who's coming on the show and when the shows will air. It's pretty easy. Thursday evenings, seven o'clock Central, eight Eastern and nine Atlantic time. And uh, that we go live. The season premiere is on my channel this Thursday. Next week, it's on Grant Tommy, who is Straight Six Fan. I'll put his link up here so you can go subscribe to him. That way, you guys will get notified every time we go live with the show. I'm done. That's all I got for this video. So guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again in the next one.